right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Cardstacks here. Um, went to the Northwest Valley Coins and Collectibles show earlier today um, and spent $125 there. I was only there for 30 minutes. I had to go run and do some other things, but wanted to make a quick stop, see the usual tables that I buy from um, and see what we can buy to, to flip on eBay. So um, only bought from two different dealers, but um, spent most of it at once. So I'm just going to go through all the pickups here um, and then we'll uh, kind of recap everything at the end. So um, this was a $2 bin um, and this guy, I think it's the Dugout Sports in Prescott, Arizona. Um, I always buy from him. He's always got fresh inventory, two, five, one dollar boxes, ten for a dollar. Um, so this was everything in a two dollar box. And, and today, because I didn't have a lot of time, I was just buying things. I didn't check comps on anything. I was just going mo mostly off of instinct. So we'll kind of see how I do on a, a few of these cards. So Pat Sertain Blue Scope, uh, nothing crazy, but probably a four dollar card, um, two of those. Amon Ross St. Brown Red Hyper, but this one has uh, quite a bit of damage there that I just didn't notice, um, so probably nothing there. Kyle Trask Purple Veloc or, uh, purple Shock, um, I sell these for about 10 to 15 bucks, so a nice $2 pickup there. Uh, Beau Bichette Blue Foil um, from opening day. I know he's doing really well this year, but I don't do baseball as much as I used to. Um, but figured color match, foil, I don't know. Maybe it's worth something. Um, again, more baseball. Hedbert Perez. Um, I couldn't remember if he's been doing well um, or if it was another guy from the Brewers. Um, but figured for two bucks, prospect. I'll take a chance. Um, Devin Bush. This was kind of a random one. One that I, again, just I kind of know the name. Um, he went to Michigan. Yeah, he went to Michigan. I don't even know if he's still with the team, but for $2, a pink auto. Figured that was worth a shot. Uh, same here, Kyle Laletta, optic auto, and he signed it in the wrong place. Um, but I think he's been doing well or did well in the XFL. I don't really remember, but for $2, um, you know, worst case, you know, when I'm buying these, like worst case, I'm losing $2. And I don't think that I'm going to lose all of my money on it. So that's kind of my thought process and what makes me feel okay about just adding it to the stack um brandon Ayuk, blue hyper that's probably you know closer to five to seven dollar card michael parsons i'd buy him a ton i don't know how his base does but again at two dollars um i think i can make my money back there this is a nice one you know probably closer to ten dollars red hyper kyle pitts um and this is probably the best card of lot. i can't believe this was in there in the $2 bin. Kyle Trask, Red Stars. So this is a T-Mall super short print. Um, none that I've seen sell. There, I went on Terra Peak, um, which is great to look up older comps um, as an extension of eBay. Um, some sold for like 30 and 50, but that was back in like November and December before he was kind of, before Brady retired and everything. I looked up comps. There was a Kyle Pitts that one sold for i think 55 recently there was a michael parsons i think that one sold for 100 and then a justin field sold for 180 so i think this is probably in the 80 to 100 range um but i think i'm going to list it at like 120 and take some offers and we'll see so but to be two dollars into this this was a crazy find um trevor lawrence um this i just buy trevor lawrence prism his prism base does about 20 bucks so I, his inserts got to do more than you know five bucks or so um jamar chase this probably isn't too great because uh, thinking back his prism probably does about six bucks but uh, we'll see um i don't do baseball really at all but i know bones was kind of a, a trade piece with the clippers silver prism um took a chance there uh, Trey Lance Optic Base. I sell these at $7. I have probably seven on my eBay store right now, um, quantity, and they sell pretty regularly. This was a nice one. DJ Moore, a big piece for the Bears now. Um, and so red, white, and blue uh, should be pretty solid there. Taylor Rapp, this is a good one. Uh, I think, I hope. Um, I'll look up comps and see, um, but a really good safety uh, bronze uh, auto. Um, Calvin Ridley, I've sold one for $20 before. I have one on my eBay right now for 15 that I got on Com C for about five bucks. Um, and now I got this one in at two bucks. So should be pretty nice. And then 
uh, Chance Cisco Camo Parallel to 25. So for two bucks, um, if you're gonna take a chance. So there were 20 cards here, uh, which brought this stack up to 40. Um, and that was just a $2 bin. Um, I then went to the $5 bin. That one I'm a little bit more selective on, um, but picked up a couple cards. Travis Etienne uh, Green Pulsar, um, and I bought this just because his Red Ice used to do about $8. Um, and then uh, I've sold a Micah Parsons Green Pulsar for $25 before. So figured out five bucks, maybe it's worth 10. Same thing with the Monroe St. Brown, um, you know, one of the top receivers in that class. So took a chance there. And then Otani, this one I did look up afterwards. Um, it does about three to five dollars. So not a crazy find. I was hoping it was closer to seven to 10, but whatever. And then Jonathan Taylor, Blue Hyper, um, color match. Hopefully that does closer to $15. So that right there was a $20 stack. Um, and then I went to the $1 bin and just kind of picked up some random color. Hunter Renfro, Renfro red, white, and blue. Um, Bo Nix, first refractor. He's super hot right now. It, Auburn uniform, but it is his Bowman first, so we'll see how it goes. Michael Gallup, Octic Hollow, thought that was a good one. TJ Hawkinson did really well with the Vikings, bronze for a dollar. Tyler Lockett, um, you know, maybe this is a variation. I don't know if that's his actual image that's on Topps Chrome, but Refractor, his rookie cards on Topps Chrome, and like, I don't know, they do pretty well, sneakily well. Um, Evan McPherson, I sell a lot of his orange mosaics. I talk about that quite a bit. This is an orange number to 249, so figured for a dollar I'll take that chance. Christian Kirk, Pink Optic, TJ Hawkinson, Red, White, and Blue, uh, Hunter Renfro, uh, Red, Yellow, DJ Moore, Blue Dunruss, maybe a $5 card, uh, TJ Hawkinson, Pink, uh, Hunter Renfro, Pink, Brandon Ayuk, Purple Shock, closer to maybe $10, bucks. Um, and then this was just kind of a, a random uh, one-of-one one John Bostic auto. Um, this thing is very beat up like just dented you can move this thing around but a one of one for a dollar it's an auto um john bostic i think put a nasty hit on L L M joe flacco maybe um there's <clears throat> a pretty big hit and he was i, I don't know um but anyways i'll, I'll look it up um but yeah all these were a dollar so that was 14 of those um and then he's got some prices as marked um cards and i originally i saw this and I was like, whoa, that's a gold, right? Like to 10, uh, for 10 bucks, Mr. Stone. I don't know anything about wrestling. Um, and I was like, well, I don't know why it's priced so low, but the 10 uh, prism WWE, I, I'll take that chance. Like, I, I don't think I'm losing more than $5, like in any universe. Um, looked it up. Some of the gold shimmers were doing 11 and $16. Um, but after that, there was a true gold that sold for, I think, 50 and there's one listed at 60 right now. So I'm less than $10 into it because I got a bulk deal. Um, so I'll probably list it for 40 to 50 bucks and go from there. And then Alec Pierce, Genesis Mosaic. Um, I do like Alec Pierce. I liked him out of Cincinnati. I thought he was really nice. Um, we'll see what Anthony Richardson can do, but I felt like $20 was a little low. Last sold have been like 40, 50, 60. Cheapest listed is $80 right now. So... I'll be happy if I can just double up my money there. So everything stickered out to 114 and he said he'd take 90 on it. So not a bad stack. I'm hoping this red stars is going to do well. These two, the gold and the uh, Genesis are going to do well. And then, you know, a couple of these. So um, really good stack there that I'm happy with. And then I just picked up one other card um, and I'll probably list it. Um, but I'll probably keep it in the PC for a little bit. Um, Jenny Finch uh, Collegiate Patches. This is just a manufactured patch. Um, yeah, just a manufactured patch, but her auto. She's very collectible. Um, I remember Card Collector 2 bought one of these pretty cheap. Um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I kind of had my eye on it. They just never pop up on eBay. Um, some elite autos of hers are like, selling for like 80 to 60 bucks um so i think this could probably be over a hundred dollars i got this for 35 dollars um numbered to 249 so 
cool piece. I'll put in a one touch, enjoy it a little, and and if I get a, a offer, you know, where I can make twenty bucks, I'll, I'll probably take it. So that's everything that I got for a hundred and twenty five dollars uh, from the Northwest Valley Show. I'll post everything on my um, post everything on my eBay Gaby Card Stacks. Um, if you're interested in anything, um, hit me up on on Twitter, Instagram. KB card stacks and uh, we'll make a deal. So that's everything for now. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll be next week. I'll be going to the Chandler Gilbert card show. Um, and yeah, looking to, to spend some more for some eBay inventory. So peace.